Welcome back to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP. And today I'm gonna to show you how I make fafale with feta and broad beans. Beautiful dish. All right, let's get on with it. First thing I need to do is get some boiling water into a little saucepan. I boil it first, a nice big dash of salt. And we need a little bit more water than that, but we wanna get this up to a boil. So we're just gonna start that off and bring it up to a boil. We're gonna add a little bit more water. We want about three and a half liters in total for the quantity that we are doing. Once that has come up to the boil, like that, we can then add some broad beans. 500 grams of frozen broad beans. Yes, frozen broad beans, nothing wrong with it. If you can get fresh, go for it. It's a, a very tedious process stripping a broad bean and uh, takes its toll on your thumbs and your fingers, believe me. So I'm just going to put those in. They're going to have to come back up to the boil. So just let them sit. They'll come up to a little bit of a float. And once they start boiling, we're going to leave those for about 60 seconds. And then they can come off the pan, off the uh, cooker. I'm going to strain those off. And we're going to let those sit for about 15, maybe 20 minutes because we need these to cool down. Right, so on with our next step, and this is the tedious bit. We need to skin the broad beans. So we need to take that outer hard skin off our broad beans. Be nice and careful. We don't want to crush the little beautiful jewels inside. A beautiful, sweet broad bean. If, personally, I like eating broad beans without, well, with the husk, but uh, or with the skin, but they are tough and uh, they can be a little bit bitter, just like myself. So here I've got some marinated feta, about 300 grams. If you don't have marinated feta, do as I did. You cut your feta up, put it into a bowl, cover that with a Greek or French or even Italian salad dressing. Let that sit for a couple of hours and there you go, you've got marinated feta. Right, another three and a half liters of water. We're gonna bring that up to the boil with a good dash of salt just like I'm doing there. All right, and once that comes up to the boil, we're gonna add in, for two people, we're gonna add 200 grams of our farfalle pasta, a little bow tie pasta. It's gonna go straight in like that. And we're gonna bring that back to the boil, just like I'm doing there. We're gonna give that a little bit of a stir from time to time so the pasta does not stick together. And We've got to keep checking this from time to time. This is going to take around about 10 minutes to cook, maybe a little bit more. We want to make sure it's cut through properly. I've got 100 grams here of prosciutto, or you could even use pancetta. And our deli lady cut that a little bit too thin. She actually cut it for like an antipasto platter. Uh, so we have to work with what we have been served. So. You don't want that paper thin, you want it with a little bit of uh, thickness to it and you probably cook that off first before adding it to the dish. We want to make sure our pasta is cooked through nicely, we want a little bit of chew to it, we don't want it soggy, and we've strained that off. So in a pan here, I've got a little bit of butter, I've added our broad beans straight in like that and our pan is actually not turned on at the moment. In goes our farfalle our little pasta, and I've strained off the marinade off the feta. The feta then goes in, and when you strain off that marinade, you wanna keep about two to three tablespoons of that marinade and set that aside. I'm gonna use that a little bit later on. In goes our prosciutto, or if you want, pancetta, and that's just gonna go straight into our pasta. I've cut it up as best as I possibly can, and when you get your prosciutto from a deli, they should actually put sheets in between the slices. This lady didn't, so uh, anyway, you work with what you've got. So you just want to stir that through, you just want to heat that prosciutto through. That is like paper thin, so it will cook down very, very quickly. I've got about half a lemon. I'm just going to zest the rind of that lemon straight over the top. So half a lemon edited this of course and we're just going to add that straight in and then we want the juice of that half a lemon straight in if they're a small lemon use the whole lemon these are quite a large lemon 
in goes all of that marinade from the feta straight in over the top like that and how good is that already starting to look dash of white or black pepper I'll leave that up to you it's your choice just keep stirring that through and this is a very very nice light meal when I first saw the recipe I didn't think it was going to taste anywhere near as good as it actually does very nice light healthy meal all right just keep stirring that through and making sure everything gets coated in all those, those juices and there you go KP's farfelle with feta and broad beans I'd like to see you try and make this one at home super easy super simple and a lot of fun to eat the whole family will absolutely love it thank you so much for watching this video really do appreciate it share it with all of your friends on all forms of social media if you like this video hit that like button gives me confidence should make you feel warm and fuzzy too hit that notifications bell you'll be notified every time a new video goes up also youtube says but more importantly i want you to come and join the family my family hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again I will catch you next time. Bye.